and it is important to get that perspective, Jay. But now we want to get to your feed at five. Ballot drop boxes allow voters to skip the post office and deliver their mail-in ballot themselves, but they have become a hot-button issue, sparking legal battles here and across the country. Even in the final weeks before the election, a federal judge just ruled that Ohio Secretary of State cannot prohibit counties from adding more. Our Mark Namick joins us live now with a little bit more on what this means for voters and why the issue is still not settled. Hi, Mark. Hi, Tiffany. Yes, you're absolutely right. The uh, pandemic has led to an unprecedented number of voters requesting early ballots so that they can avoid the lines, you know, and skip all the trouble on Election Day. But that surge, coupled with concerns about the post office's reliability, has voters, election advocates and officials saying maybe we need more of these drop boxes to alleviate any problems. But Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose is blocking such efforts, arguing more boxes would create an unequal election system and voter confusion. Now, U.S. District Judge Dan Polster overruling LaRose, calling his actions arbitrary and saying he failed to offer any good reason why there shouldn't be more boxes. Jen Miller of the Ohio League of Women Voters, one of the groups suing LaRose over box locations, says the ruling could increase access to voting for everyone. And so we had a case in state court that said LaRose um, could actually allow uh, multiple drop boxes or drop off locations per county. And now we have federal court really saying that, you know, you can't just have one drop box for all of Cuyahoga County. This can help rural, suburban, exurban and very, very populated counties all in one by just having the rows get out of the way of boards of elections and providing important services to voters. Now, the legal battle is not over, so elections boards aren't doing a whole lot yet. LaRose says, who didn't want to talk on camera, that this should be up to the state house to make changes, not the courthouse, though the Republican controlled state house is not acting on a number of bills that would increase voter access, including changing rules for voting uh, by the drop boxes. Tiffany. All right. Thank you, Mark.